Hey, thank you all for watching my videos. In this tutorial, I'll show you the easiest way to create this kind of furniture. The result of this tool will depend on the polygroups and the combination of filter types. In the cloth filter tool, polygroup are special manipulators. You can also use a mask, symmetry and collision, and then you can get any result. But the main tool is your imagination. Let's get started. Press key shift A and add a plane. Scale the plane. Go to the objects menu and apply the scale. Add a mirror modifier, select X, Y and clipping. Go to edit mode and add edges. Loop using extrude and moving to get the desired shape. Add a solidify modifier change thickness and offset. Apply modifiers. Go to edit mode. Add edge loop. Go to the mesh menu. Select the shrink fatten tool and move the loop. Go to object mode. Add a subdivision modifier. Set iterations to 2 and apply the modifier. Select these edges and apply edge bevel. Go to object mode, add the subdivision modifier. Set three iterations and apply the modifier. Go to sculpt mode. Go to the face sets menu and select the item. Face set from edit mode selection. Move the cursor over the polygroup and press Ctrl Alt W. Select the cloth filter tool. Press N and go to the tool options. Select inflate and use face sets. Move the cursor over the polygroup and move the cursor to the left. Hover the cursor over any space in the viewport and move the cursor to the right. Select the mesh filter tool and select the type surface move. Hover the cursor over any space in the viewport and move to the right. Go to object mode. If desired, we can change the mock-up and turn on cavity. We can make the fold softer. To do this, add the modifier smooth. And your soft puffy furniture is ready.